flight control is level, we have a difference in our aileron or flap. In order for our aileron or flap to be leveled, you notice that it's off alignment at the, at the controls. So in order to do that, you need to remove the push-pull rod and adjust it. Okay, so you start taking out the push-pull rod? Yes. Okay. Okay, so we have Mary here already taking out the panel where the push-pull rod goes in. Taking out the bolts that connect the push-pull rod. Push pull rod free from the bell crank. Flaps movable. We'll okay, your push ailerons are flapping. Yeah, and then we'll take it off of the, uh, the aileron. Okay. So we are taking out the section from the aileron. So Dustin is helping us with uh, Joe to do that. The bolts holding the push pull rod has been taken out, just these two bolts. Mary has them in her hand. Two small bolts holding on the ailerons. Thank you. All right, so we're looking at the push pull rod and we're looking for free range of motion. And if you want to do a corrosion treatment, you can clean it off with isopropyl alcohol and LPS3, and then you can clean the threads, and lubricate it up as needed. Okay. So you need some cleaning for that? Too. Correct. Mm -hmm. So with clean, dry threads, mm -hmm. you apply LPS3. Make sure that the ends thread on nice and smooth. So now you're ready to put it back on all your... So now we're ready to, yeah, we're ready to put it back in. Before we do that, we need to set the range of motion mm -hmm. on each side. Okay. So if you set them to 50%, hold on to the side of this, that when you turn one way, it takes in one side, the other side expands, give me your travel adjustment. Mm -hmm. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, so you're ready to put it in. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Alright, so now that the push pull rod's back in and adjusted, we have an even surface across the flap and the aileron. And How did you adjust correctly. the push pull rod? How did you adjust it? We adjusted the push pull rod by changing the length and then testing it against level on the controls. So now you're going to use the. To do it Alright, so now we're going to use our TCDS and we're going to look at our travels. Our aileron up and down travels are 20 degrees up plus or minus two and down 15 degrees plus or minus one. So now we're going to take our bubble protractor and measure the control surface movements. Okay. Hey Dustin, get the controls. And also we use the wheel to do the up and down movement. Right. Okay. So at level, Go up. Oh, and the TCD has said 20 plus 20 or minus? 20 plus or minus 1. Okay, so now the down travel again. Uh, down, the level again. And your ailerons have the differential control, the 
Up and down movements have different degrees of travel. Down. Eighteen. Eighteen. What did the book say? Uh, well, actually, it was eighteen minus two because two was to level. Mm -hmm. That was sixteen, and we were fifteen plus or minus one. Okay. Okay, that's good. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm.